Don't miss out on the special offer from my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They're currently giving you 20% off if you use my coupon code Poodle at checkout and also giving you an additional 10% coins at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, Weekend League just became live. Now, it's not official Weekend League. It is the qualifiers. But I'm going to be going over when it's going to drop, how these qualifiers usually run, the reward you can expect, and why it's worth it. And a quick little tips and tricks in between that too on how I go about this. So first off, guys, if you're new to the channel, make sure to go in below, smash the sub button. We just broke 3K, okay? 3K. We just broke 3K subs. Thank you guys so much. We've gained almost 1,000 subs in about 6 days, 7 days. So thank you guys so much for that. I love all the support. It's been awesome. And guys, if you're just new and you sub, make sure to smash the notification button to get notified every time. Let's get 100 likes in this video. Comment down below if you've been participating in Weekend League, boys, and let's get into this. So first things first, knockout tournament's where it's going to be. This is the qualifying round. The qualifying round is like Weekend League, except it's not actually, doesn't count towards Weekend League, but you must qualify in order to play it. Now, you don't usually have to do this all every week. The way it works is if you make it to Weekend League and you participate in Weekend League, if you get a certain rank, typically you're qualified for the following week. So I believe last year, I don't know how many wins it was or if you just qualified, but I know that I didn't have to qualify every week. If I qualified one week, I pretty much qualified the next week off just the wins I'd get. I don't know if there's a stand, like a baseline for how many wins you need, but if there is not, there must be, because I don't think everyone would just re-qualify again. But guys, I don't entirely remember. So, qualifiers, let's see how many games are. They're typically, like, I believe four games in a row you have to win. What's three games? It is, let's see. We already qualified for this week's Weekend League. So, I already qualified. I don't know if that means that everyone's qualified. I find that weird. Oh, I think if you make playoffs, or you make it like the, you make the playoffs deep or deep run in your season mode, you automatically qualify for Weekend League, which could make sense. So, if that is the case, then I've already qualified. So, I think... I think that was the thing last year. If you if you went far in your in your seasons, which is headset seasons, you qualify automatically. I did go to the Super Bowl, so I don't know if that is what this is implying right now, guys. But for you guys, I'm pretty sure it's three to four games in a row. So you can't lose one. The amount of attempts you get, I don't remember. I think it used to be like, I don't know if it was five or ten, but you got a decent amount, so you have plenty of tries. But I know it's not the easiest thing in the world. But pretty much qualify once. And if you can't qualify, go play seasons. Go play seasons, make it to playoffs, and if you can do that, you should qualify automatically. Now, qualifiers when I was a lot younger used to be pretty hard for me, but it's not too hard. If you, if you can't qualify, go up on YouTube, look up a really glitchy scheme from any of the competitive Madden guys who have eBooks. They should have someone, they're just enough to just come here and qualify. Now, for me, what I would recommend, guys, if you really want to kill Weekend League, if you have the coins, two guys I'd recommend. Philip Lindsay, 84 overall, get him right now. He is a glitchy running back. He's 86 speed, and he has play pre abilities on him. You can get him for free for a dollar pack, or you can get it for like 34K. So if you don't have the coins, get him. I'd highly recommend the run game is pretty OP if you can get it going. He has, get, uh, get the first one free or whatever, you know, get the first juke free after five runs. Now guys, if you have the coins, I highly recommend Marcus Allen. If you can get him with evasive, he's a glitchy running back to kill through weekend league. That's kind of my plan right now. I'm gonna go over the rewards in a second, but just getting through the qualifiers. Remember four wins, you have to win them all in a row. Good luck with that. I hope you guys can get it done. And if you do, comment down below. If you guys qualify, I kind of want to play qualifiers. I'm kind of sad that I don't get to. I was hyped to get this started. Let's click into leaderboard, see if anything's here. All right, let's see what does it show top 100? No, rewards, my rank. All right, so it doesn't show the rewards, but it does show the tier. So there's Legend, which is 18 wins, MVP, which is 16, All Star is 13, 10 is Silver, well, Star, Veteran is 7, Pro is 4, 2 is Rookie, 1 is Amateur. So if I recall correctly last year, Ultimate, I don't believe Ultimate was 18 wins. I believe Ultimate was 16 wins. So unless they added a new tier, because it looks like this is Elite now, which is 16, that's a lot. Like, I, I can get them, but it's not the easiest amount of games to play, you know, especially if you're not competitive. I can probably get Legend tier, but I don't know if there's a new tier. They moved up Ultimate. They probably did because people are getting so many coins for free. Just playing this and easily mopping their way through it. Now, I don't know what the reward structure is going to look like, but if it's anything like last year, Ultimate last year was, I believe it was, was it one? I don't know. I think it was one or two touchdown packs. For Ultimate, I think it was two touchdown packs. Two red zone packs, so that's one, two, it's a red zone pack has a quick sell of 75k. So two red zone packs is 150k quick sales worth, so that's 150k. And then two red zones were 50k because it was 25k, 25k quick sell. So that came out to like a grand total of about 200k. Plus you get like 125k for just making it to this tier. So that'd be about 325k plus some midfield packs. So I believe if it's anything like last year, Legend's gonna be 325k if you take all the coins. MVP was more like, I think it was 75k coins and then one touchdown and one red zone so that'd be like 200k instead and this one's 325 
gold was okay gold was like 75 to 100k and then everything after that's like okay it's like 40k 50k and another big bonus is trophies if this was anything like last year this ultimate should be like 60 trophies mvp should be about 40 all-star would be about 20 this would be about 10 and these would be like probably 5 to 10 somewhere around here you don't really get much for these two maybe like a midfield or a hail mary pack i believe now they do show the monthly rewards which is pretty huge because i can get an idea off of these if these are very similar which i did check and they are that should be similar to last year so the setup's similar but i don't know if this is glitched i don't know if they accidentally did this wrong but ultimate is 100 coins that doesn't feel right in my opinion to be 100 coins because if i recall from years past ultimate for a monthly was a lot more but you do get 189 overall plus five player fantasy pack that is huge so you can get ultimate for the month of september you will get 189 plus overall fantasy pack so that could be any full legend any full legend in the game any ultimate superstar in the game at the moment and any limited time legend you cannot get any base leads because base leads end at 88 overall so they are out of the equation on this one but that is fine because you can get michael strahan larry allen dan diodorf um marcus allen mel blunt ken Houston. you know the list goes on and on pat mahomes stefan gilmore zach ertz you guys get the point and there's new superstars coming out so those will be eligible for this pack too so this is pretty huge and remember this will be at the end of september after the first like pretty much going to the first week of all uh oh my god my bad my bad this would be the first this would be for the month of august but it, you'll get the rewards the first week of september sorry for that so i said september because you're getting it the first week of september because you always get the rewards the week after the month ends so you're gonna have the first week of august second week of august third week of august fourth week of august and then after that you get the rewards the following week in september so if we go down elite is still an 89 overall plus player pack so that's huge because elite typically for an average i call myself above average i'm not average but i'm not great i'm like above average so for me Elite will be probably very easy for me to get monthly, so 89 overall fantasy pack will be probably very much in the works for me. And then even if you get gold, gold's pretty easy to get into if you're just average. That's an 84 to 87, so that could be at a two of them. So you could get an Aaron Donald, a Khalil Mack, anywhere from 84 overalls to Aaron Donald and Von Miller kind of cards. So that's not bad at all just for getting gold. Same thing with silver. Silver's one though, so silver's gonna be a joke to get into. That should be that's just a few wins a week. That's really not that bad. And it's monthly too, so it's sometimes a little lower. It's not like you have to hit silver every week. It's gonna be usually like if you had to if you got silver every week, let's say that's eight wins over four weeks, that's 32 wins you have to get to get silver every week. But monthly silver might only be 27 wins, so you really don't have to hit silver every week if that makes sense to you guys. Now, bronze is an elite nap pack. This isn't bad at all. Pro is still 10 or silver or better nap players, so you can get an elite out of there, five gold or better. So you could just just getting a few games done would be highly beneficial to most people for monthly at least. Make sure to play this monthly. Now let's get top 100 fire fantasy pack there's gonna be a full legend a team of the week hero and a mutt hero so it seems as though mutt heroes are just released i guess that makes sense like they're they just kind of leaked that and team of the week heroes obviously because there's gonna be a preseason heroes preseason i don't know if they yeah preseason heroes they usually do so it's like it, sometimes it's a younger guy because they play really good in the preseason it all depends and then there's also gonna be fire fantasy packs and you guys know what that is like i said that is what it contains that so the, it looks like there's gonna be three slots First one's going to be a full legend, second's a team of the week hero, and the third one's a mud hero. When these packs drop, guys, great market tip. Make sure to go and snipe these cards out because they will be extremely cheap because the people are going to be pulling them out crazy. And 20 gold or better players. Also, remember, typically, if you get top 100, you get this reward for this, and you also get it every week for top 100, which is going to be crazy rewards. So that could easy. If you got top 100 every week, they'd probably be about like four to 500K a week just in quick sales plus winning. And then so that'd be like almost two million coins for the month plus the fire fantasy pack and the 20 gold or better players so that is an awesome awesome deal if you can get top 100 i probably won't be i might be close but i'm not going to get in there entirely but this is pretty awesome so mud heroes will be coming pretty soon as our team of the week heroes which we knew that because preseason starts what is it next week i don't entirely know i'm pretty sure it starts next week but guys that is about it for this video if you guys haven't already checked have you guys haven't already ever played weekend league make sure you try it out this year it is an awesome investment for you guys because it is just so easy to make coins and it's not I, I understand if you're not that good at this game go on i go on youtube go look up all all the money plays all the glitch i don't care what you guys do i don't really care if you cheese go find it go do it go go collect the bag go get what you guys need to do go cheese it's worth it get your coins it is so much coin. last year i was no money spent because i was getting literally 200 300k a week in this thing it was so easy it was like opening a bundle every week and then if you guys really want to topple, topple that, you do solo battles with that. But guys, that's about it for this video. If you're new to the channel, go down below. Smash the sub button. Let's get to 4K. We hit we hit almost a K in one week. So if we can, by about August 13th, 12th, which is my birthday, actually. If we could hit 3K, 4K subs by August 12th, that would be awesome, guys. Make it happen. 
Turn on the noti bell to get notified every time I post. It helps me out a lot, and you guys get all the info as quick as possible. And make sure to smash the like button. Let's hit 100 likes, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys have been enjoying the content. I'm out. See you guys later. Peace.